What's up guys? Today I uh, had called Amazon. I also posted on a forum about this cell. And as you can see, I removed the heat shrink because a guy on one of the forums said that, you know, they probably put a dummy cell in. Then another guy came in and uh, commented that, you know, oh yeah, I'm sure they ran them in parallel and this and that. So I figured, fuck it. Just going to take it apart. We're going to look at the battery. I did call Amazon and I spoke to a supervisor who kind of blew everything off, you know. Um, she's, you know, the, like, just wrote everything off. And I said, listen, you know, this is a serious uh, matter. These batteries ain't to be fucked with. And I didn't really use that terminology, but, you know, I was very polite. She uh, then after explaining to her because she, her answer to me what everything I said was sir you have to use the same battery that came with it and I educated her that no you do not have to use the same battery nor do you have to use the same company what is important and that you must follow is the voltage of the cell not the capacity, but the voltage, okay? So I informed her that an 18650 versus a 26650 um, basically are the same except for the diameter. The length is the same. The diameter is just different, but the voltages are the same. Yes, there are some tolerances, but... Um, you know, the guys on the forum, they, you know, kind of went back and forth. So, positive end, negative end, and as you can see, we got spot weld here, which, um, you know, is the jacket that comes over to the other jacket and follows up. We turn the battery over, we have another one, and then if you notice here, you can see that white insulator right there. So that insulator is separating this jacket and this jacket, but that strip is going from the positive lead of this battery up to the positive lead there and we can see that that is also to the positive lead and that's what she looks like so we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this some more and this is an insulator here just with you know a button top and then that's an insulator there and when we get this apart you're gonna see there's that white insulator there too. Okay, so uh, I broke the one sleeve, well, the one tab off, and we can see over here that that is insulated from, the positive is insulated from the negative, and if we come over here, we can uh, see the uh, positive, and if we turn this around, we can view what's going on here. So you have the metal strip that runs up and then to the positive. And this uh, tape is an insulator so this does not touch this because that strip is actually connected from this to this. All right, so all I did was uh, I cut that little piece of metal from that piece of metal. And now we're going to go ahead and turn this around and separate this other tab here that just fell off. And the batteries will be completely separated. Okay, so you could see um, the outside that is attached to the negative over here. And over here has been separated from where it was spot welded on the outside of this up here. Uh, 
I don't think there's any marks on it, but you can see that. And then this tab on this cell, where that, that is, that has been separated right there from here. Now what we'll do is we'll remove this if I, I'm going to have to cut back. Okay, I was able, this is a sticky insulator, and then you have your plastic insulator. And if we take a closer look at that, you can see that metal piece is positive. Now that positive piece right there was connected to that piece, which is positive. And that is what they call parallel wiring, not series wiring. So that explains why the flashlight blew up. Because it's not a dummy cell, but it is wired in parallel. So in other words, the, the series, you'd have negative, positive, positive, negative, and then positive, negative. That's not what we have here. All right, so I got these batteries apart and we're going to use the uh, voltmeter. And we're going to get the uh, voltage tested on this. So being that they were wired in parallel and not series, that explains exactly why the flashlight was blown up. Now this first uh, cell will be fairly easy to test. So we got 4.14 volts. And then uh, this one has some adhesive on it, so I'm going to have to get it in the spot on the positive side. 4.14 volts there. But being that they were wired differently in parallel instead of series, it, that explains, you know, why when I put this positive end and then this positive end next to one another it blew the flashlight because the flashlight isn't capable this board is not capable of handling um, 8.28 volts it, it's just not so that's why when I measured it, I was only getting 4.14 volts. I'm going to be calling Amazon now and uh, requesting my money back is this is bullshit.